Egos will be wounded, feelings will be hurt, because we don't come here to make friends, we come here to fight! <laughs> this is humiliation, this is brutality, anything goes, no holds barred, this is Comedy Fight Club! <laughs> Thank you all for coming out, and welcome to Comedy Fight Club, streaming on the Gas Digital Network every Tuesday at 10.30 p.m., and coming to you live from the CFC Arena. I am the official commissioner of Comedy Fight Club, the sleeveless wonder of the world, Matt Marin. We are also on Twitter and Instagram at Comedy Fight NYC. Thanks to our social media hipster. Give it up for Nico Pavlovich. for having us here every single week. Give it up for everyone here at Lucky Jack. We got a great show in store for your main event tonight. Two of the top ranked fighters in Comedy Fight Club. And by that, I mean they're both ranked. Not really top, actually. <laughs> Not that I think about it. Number 29, but okay. We'll do it. <laughs> Give it up first. Number 29 in the rankings, Bobby Sheehan. <laughs> Bobby facing Mikey Mays in the main event. I hate feeling going into this fight. Uh, last time I wasn't prepared for an intro, so I have something now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for having me and Mikey. I'm very excited to fight Mikey. He is a good comedian. <laughs> I'm sorry, I read that wrong. He is a bad comedian. <laughs> <laughs> and his opponent, the bad comedian, Mikey Mays! <laughs> Mikey, main event versus Bobby Sheehan. How you feeling going into this fight? Uh, I don't know. I feel like Bobby gets really excited to talk to black people, so... <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any particular strategy for Bobby Sheehan? Uh, I'm not gonna rap. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give it up for Mikey Mays! <laughs> and fuck the white people here who were disappointed when he said that. <laughs> but now it's time to go over the rules here at Comedy Fight Club. Two fighters will step on into the fighter circle. They will each have two timed rounds to rattle off as many jokes as they can. At the end of two rounds, if we are tied, we will go to a one joke, sudden death overtime. Now the winners of these rounds will be determined based on crowd applause, which means Fight Club, you will clap for one fighter and one fighter only. You will not clap for both because we can't have two winners, which leads me to the most important rule here at Comedy Fight Club. No fucking pity claps! No fucking pity claps! <laughs> No, this is Comedy Fight Club. This is where sympathy comes to die. If someone's going to lose up here, you will let them lose with dignity. Yeah. Now it is time to introduce the officials of Comedy Fight Club. Up first, the official bishop of Comedy Fight Club, the king of the bits, the one, the lonely, Andrew Casertano. Yeah. 
This week is the Bishop Andrew Castertano's birthday. He's going to celebrate by jerking off to his parents having sex. <laughs> Andrew actually moved out of his parents' place, but he still goes and visits all the time. That'd be like a comic who just repeats the same bit every time they're on stage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like my body? <laughs> Andrew calls himself the lonely boy because women want to be in his life less than Mia Faith Hammond's father wants to be in hers. <laughs> we got a special one tonight. It's the official orphan of Comedy Fight Club. Give it up for Mia Faith Hammond! We put in the arms of an angel Sarah McLaughlin song as she does that look. <laughs> no, Mia's uh, Mia, she, uh, she's a virgin also, but her dad's a drug addict who left her, so she has been fucked by one dick in her life. <laughs> and Mia played Anne Fra <laughs> Mia, on the Halloween show, Mia played Anne Frank, and for the record, Anne Frank is proof that women can be funny. <laughs> Mia was a perfect fit to play Anne Frank because she's a girl who's never had sex who's also an overrated writer. <laughs> and now we have the special guest official of the night from High Society Radio. Give it up for Chris from Brooklyn! Chris, you look like you hit women for not liking good fellas. <laughs> Chris has a comic book called Snake Dick. Uh, the, it's the legend of the Manaconda. In case, in case you've ever, in case you've ever wondered what it would be like if your high school janitor became an author. <laughs> yeah, well, I just found out this week one of my old pro wrestling friends killed themselves. How does it feel to know that a my friend's suicide note was easier to read than your comic book? <laughs> That joke was just therapeutic for me. I'm really sad, guys. <laughs> what do you say? You ready to see some fights tonight? Yeah! No, I said, are you ready to see some fucking fights tonight? Yeah! Let's get this started up first. We have an exhibition match scheduled for two 30-second rounds. Introducing first... He moved from Pakistan to Staten Island because he can't live anywhere where they respect women. <laughs> Farouk <laughs> And his opponent has wrestling, I fuck unconscious women face, Michael Verde! <laughs> Thirty seconds on the clock. This fight starts now. I hope a lot of people tune in and watch this fight. I'm fighting a guy named Farouk Hussein, so I can at least be sure the FBI is watching. <laughs> Farouk. <laughs> Farouk, your body looks like Humpty Dumpty's before he fell off the wailing wall. <laughs> Farouk is like Kumar if the White Castle he went to was just a big pile of cocaine. <laughs> Farouk, Farouk, Farouk is on fire. We don't need no water because he's a suicide bomber who did it to himself. <laughs> Farouk Hussein. But like a spirit, like a, a bomber full of spirit, you know, guys? Like a, like a cheerleader. All right, that's right. All right. <laughs> Mike works for a nonprofit organization. You guys might have heard of it. It's called Lone Bird Comedy. <laughs> Michael was in Grease the Musical in high school, which is funny because Mike's brother is in prison getting butt fucked right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's friend died of a heroin overdose, which, firstly, so hack. <laughs> Mike delivered the eulogy at his friend's funeral after he Venmoed himself $5 for the stage time. <laughs> Fight Club is the winner of round one. Michael Verde. 
Or is the winner of round one, Farouk Hussein? <laughs> winner of round one, Farouk Hussein! 30 seconds on the clock. Round two starts now. Mike was born in Philly and grew up in South Jersey where his mom met his dad. She was foreign, he was forceful and Italian. Uh, I'm kidding, guys. It's actually quite romantic. Mike's dad was married at the time, working at a bank at home foreclosures, and Mike's mom was a home-wrecking hoe. In a way, they were both about kicking families out of their previous homes, you know? Uh, when his dad's ex-wife confronted him about the marriage, he said, listen, come by and support this marriage, and maybe I'll put you on the next one. Sound familiar? Sound familiar, guys? Yeah. Michael Verdi. This Farouk is on fire! <laughs> you look like the best compliment you ever got was, hey, that guy who fixed my cracked iPhone was really friendly. <laughs> Farouk recently started dating a chubby white girl from Alabama, so I guess sometimes Muslims do eat ham. <laughs> When Farouk was 11, his close friend got his brains blown out in Pakistan. And somehow Farouk still has the uglier headshot. Fight Club is the winner of round two, Farouk Hussein. Or is the winner of round two, Michael Verdi? This fight's going to go to sudden death overtime! One joke apiece. Overtime starts now. Farouk! Farouk is on fire! <laughs> Your body looks like it was the inspiration for the name The Grizzly Pear. <laughs> You should have just stopped the singing. Yeah. <laughs> Farouk Hussein. Mike's mom is British, uh, which means they call them biscuits instead of cookies and crumpets instead of the N-word. <laughs> fight Club is the winner of this fight. Michael Verde? Or is the winner of this fight Farouk Hussein? Winner! Your next fight. Interesting first. You can tell she's a woman based on how much she complains on Facebook about everything. Marco Reeves! And her opponent. His dick has so many STDs, it's on fire more than California right now. Oscar Aiden! <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. This fight starts now. Can I just say, you are hot. I, uh, I just... Yeah, I just saw him and I'm like... But he is, like, hot. Like, you could Ray Rice me in an elevator any day you want, sweetheart. You see, you don't like Goodfellas. Yeah, I don't. How about this? I've never seen Goodfellas. All right. Guys, how do you roast a Jewish tranny? I mean, let's be honest. Like, how do you roast a fucking Jewish tranny? About a thousand degrees, according to Hitler. <laughs> Oh, that was really good. <laughs> Listen, I know that's low. I know, Margot, that is low. But you know what? There's a silver lining. Because unlike Trump, at least Hitler recognized transsexuals. One more. All right. <laughs> Let me ask you something, though. Why the name Margot, right? Why Margot? You could have chosen from thousands of female names, right? Like Elizabeth or... Susan or Lurch. Oh, oh really? Oh, you know what? 
Margo Reese. Okay. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Andre Fagasy. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I love how straight uh, Oscar likes to dress. His vibe is totally bohemian rape sodomy. <laughs> Just look at the smirk on Oscar's face. He's always smiling like that. That's the face of a guy who knows he can't contract AIDS a second time. <laughs> Fight Club <laughs> is the winner of round one, Oscar Aiden. Thank you. No is the Or is the winner of round one, Margot Reese? Winner of round one, Margot Reese. 30 seconds on the clock. Round two starts now. Oscar tells jokes the same way he has sex, with way too much talking and Chrissy Mayer standing in the corner for some faggy reason. <laughs> Here's a riddle. Who do Trump supporters hate more? Tranny Jew or gay Muslim? <laughs> gay Muslim because he can also pull off sparkle Mexican. <laughs> Oscar's like a reversible jacket of getting his ass hate crime to death. <laughs> One more, all right. Uh, Oscar taught me what a suicide glitter bomb is. That's when he's upside down and he takes a shit on his own face. <laughs> Oscar Aiden. Ah, uh, Margo, Margo, gosh, you want people to pay for your fucking rhinoplasty. Can you believe that? She even started a GoFundMe page. You're like the Angela Com of tranny comics. No? No? Maybe they don't know who Angela Com is? Probably not. No, okay, great. Okay, great. I thought that was going to go over really well. I thought that was going to go over really well. After Margot finally gets her full transsexual operation, she's going to run for office. Yeah, she's really excited about it. Because it's literally going to be the only time she can get a man to slip something into her box. <laughs> no? Margot, you said you were going to lose. <laughs> this isn't fair. <laughs> You're a fucking tranny. <laughs> and I'm a homo. We're supposed to always win. Fight Club is the winner of round two, Margot Reese. Yeah. Or is the winner of round two, Oscar Aiden. Yeah. Winner of round two, winner of this fight, Margot Reese. Yeah. Your next fight. Introducing first, she looks like she ignores her kids while arguing with the cashier at Sea Town, Dory Dimple! And her opponent, he's a big New York Mets fan, and I want to fuck his sister, John Fox! Fuck his sister! <laughs> fuck his sister! 30 seconds on the clock. This fight starts now. All right, it's uh, nice to be here roasting the butler from Fresh Prince and Drag. <laughs> Uh, Dory's a middle-aged woman with no kids. Her body is like the current state of Toys R Us, no longer able to produce happy children. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Dor- <laughs> Dory told me she loves to dance. She actually learned her footwork from all the men that walked out in her life. <laughs> Dory Dimples. This motherfucker, John Fox. <laughs> he talks about his family uh, is white trash from South Jersey. No, motherfucker, they're just Puerto Ricans from Hurricane, displaced from Hurricane Maria, living in South Jersey. Nice try. Um, this motherfucker, John Fox. <laughs> The only reason why people pretend and the only reason why I pretend to like him is so I can fuck his sister. <laughs> John Fox is the pedophile starter kid. He's an Eagle Scout, went to an all-boys Catholic high school, and he graduated from Rutgers. Okay. 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 <laughs> but we all, all want to fuck his sister, right, guys? <laughs> yeah. Fight Club is the winner of round one. John Fox. <laughs> Or is the winner of round one, Dory Dimples? Thank you. I appreciate that. Goodbye, winner of round one, John Fox! 30 seconds on the clock. Round two starts now. Um, damn, I really don't have shit for this motherfucker. He's so goddamn boring. Um. <laughs> He says that he's not good with women. I, that was a surprise. I thought he was fucking gay. Um, John Fox's uh, voice reminds me of a woman's pussy, uh, pussy repellent. Um, the only way he can come is watching, um, watch, is playing. Oh, God. I fucked that whole shit up. I'm going to rewind it. The reason why he can't get any woman because the only way he can come is playing Fortnite. <laughs> And then um, back to the joke that his voice sounds like pussy repellent because his left ball forgot to drop during puberty. John Fox. All right, thank you, Janet Samuel L. Jackson. Um, let's see. Um, Dory considers herself a thick chick into married women. I can't tell if she's more into men in wet with wedding rings or men willing to buy her onion rings. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, Dory is like a school bus. She's old, she smells, and she takes loads of other people's kids. You know it's bad when I think there's too much stuttering on the show. <laughs> Fight Club is the winner of round two, Dory Dimples. Or is the winner of round two, John Fox? <laughs> winner of round two, winner of this fight, John Fox. Your next fight. Interesting first, he looks like he'd get caught jerking off outside of an Italian restaurant. Aww. Dino DiMartino! <laughs> And his opponent, it's the Wicked Witch of the Upper West Side, Sabrina Piper! <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. This fight starts now. Wow, Artie Lang has really let himself go, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, do you know you kind of look like if Rosie O'Donnell like fucked John Samos' hair? <laughs> Uh, Dino is Italian. His favorite homemade dish is penne alla Vicodin. <laughs> uh, looking at Dino is nostalgic for me because I remember when I was also fat and had a B cup. <laughs> Dino DiMartino. I may be fat and a heroin addict, but <laughs> can I have sex with you? <laughs> I'm not saying Sabrina is a slut with no standards. I'm hoping. Okay? <laughs> People say that Sabrina only gets booked because she has big titty honkers. 
but that's not true. People book Sabrina because they think they can fuck her. <laughs> Fight Club is the winner of round one. Sabrina Piper? Or is the winner of round one, Dino DiMartino? Winner of round one, Dino DiMartino! 30 seconds on the clock. Round two starts now. Sabrina is 22 and has a bright future. And that's because Nate Alexander is going to turn her into a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, a credit's a credit, even if it's Exhibit A. <laughs> oh my goodness, such a Jap. Jesus, ah, please! Right? I'd, I'd smell your fucking chair, that's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> Sabrina has two large tits and no jokes, okay? I don't want to watch her perform, but I do want to watch her take a shower. If they don't laugh, you're just a creep there. That's, that's, a, that's a risk. <laughs> Sabrina Piper. Wow, I wish I wore a sweater. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> uh, Dino was a heroin addict, but his biggest problem wasn't ever finding heroin. It was just trying to find a vein under his fat. <laughs> The real opioid crisis in this country is that it didn't kill Dino. <laughs> yeah, the, the dirty needles Dino used might have aided his heroin addiction, but at least they never gave him AIDS. AIDS, 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 AIDS. Come on, Fight Club, wake up. Seriously? <laughs> you need to be cued. <laughs> Fight Club is the winner of round two, Dino DiMartino? Woo! Or is the winner of round two, Sabrina Piper? <laughs> we are going to pick a winner in sudden death overtime! Yeah. One joke apiece. Overtime starts now. Dino looks like the prettiest girl at Fat Camp. <laughs> <laughs> Dino DiMartino. It's a shame Sabrina's dad passed away before he had her, before he had the chance to see her move to New York and pursue her dream of getting impregnated by a millionaire. <laughs> oh, they were both pretty bad. <laughs> fight Club is the winner of this fight. Sabrina Piper. <laughs> Or is the winner of this fight, Dino DiMartino? Winner, Sabrina Piper! And now we have the halftime report with our special guest official of the night from High Society Radio. Give it up for Chris from Brooklyn! I'm enjoying tonight. This has been fun as hell. That uh, Margo versus Oscar, I feel like it, I just watched two cousins trying to get a Republican uncle to kill themselves on Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck am I? Fucking Dino versus Sabrina. It was great to see a fat set of tits against Sabrina Piper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dino looks like a gypsy that forgot they could curse themselves thinner. <laughs> Great job considering how uh, her dad's tragic death at the end of Batman Returns, though, no? I fumbled that. Fuck you guys. Uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, main event. Biggest dick in the room versus Mikey Mays. It's going to be fucking big time. Also, while I'm here, Matt, it's fucking November. Put some sleeves on. Jesus fucking... Cr Seriously, I, I don't know who told you you had good arms. Your arms look like if Chris Crestle had arms. <laughs> The concussions or what? Your arms have less definition than Andrew Castro-Tano's sexual orientation. <laughs> I've known Andrew for like 20 fucking years. I know the last girl he fucked before the dry spell. She was like a five. <laughs> Not even like really a fucking, like, like a five that you're just being nice so you don't go under five. You know what I mean? Like, what are you, you, guys know what a, you guys know what a, 
boy. You guys know what I'm He first of all, got mad front. Whatever. I'm done with this halftime report, man. <laughs> guys, give it up for Chris from Brooklyn. <laughs> Andrew was like, don't say I had and Andrew was like, don't say I had sex. It's ruining my brand. <laughs> What do you guys say? You ready to see some more fights? Yeah! Your next matchup, introducing first, he looks like the only heroin addict that's not interesting to talk to, Jeffrey Asmus! Yeah! <laughs> and his opponent, his dad was a heroin addict and he has a needle dick, David Piccolomini! <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. This fight starts now. Uh, David is a homeschooled only child, so the only place he has heard no is in an alley. <laughs> From an alley. Um, okay, David and his girlfriend are in an open relationship, which means that he is open to everything except satisfying her sexually. <laughs> Okay. Uh, David is a very brave comedian. It's brave to have a father addicted to heroin who homeschools you and then to go on stage and say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> David Piccolomini. Uh, how is Jeff a virgin but also looks like he has AIDS? Um, I fucked now. <laughs> you, fu you fucked now? AIDS, oh. AIDS. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, it's mutating. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. This is where it gains sentience. That was my set. That was my set. Thank you. All right, I guess judge this round however you choose. <laughs> it's the winner of round one, Jeffrey Asmus. <laughs> Or is the winner of round one, David Piccolomini? Officials, what do we say? Jeffrey? We'll determine it in round two. Winner this round wins this fight. We're going to round two! No. 30 seconds on the clock. Round two starts now. Uh, Jeff is almost as slim as his chances are in making it in stand-up. It's... I like this. Uh, uh, Jeff uh, recently just watched porn for the first time this year because uh, he was tired of jerking off to his own Reddit presence. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. Eight, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jeff runs a show called Airplane Mode. It's the worst publicity for airplanes since Flight 93. Jeffrey Asmus. They're all just saying what they would prefer to have than listen to you. <laughs> <laughs>
da- David runs a David runs a Tinder themed comedy show because it reminds him of his dad swiping right hooks at him. <laughs> okay, okay. What we got? Oh yeah, the day after David was born, his dad OD'd. He was already over David. <laughs> <laughs> Fight Club is the winner of this fight. David Piccolomini? (laughs) Or is the winner of this fight Jeffrey Asmus? Winner, Jeffrey Asmus! Your next fight. Introducing first, he looks like the last person to buy porn from a video rental store, Brendan Busey! His opponent looks like he went to college to major in finance and minor in date rape, Sue Melton! (laughs) 30 seconds on the clock. Round two starts. Round, round, round two. This fight. <laughs> Sorry, your tepid slash distorted AIDS chance distracted me. <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. This fight starts now. Thanks for taking time away from telling high school girls about the time your football team went to state. Uh, you look like you tell your rape victims about how much you used to be able to bench. <laughs> Uh, Stu went to school here in Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is also what he calls the plastic vagina he 3D printed. (laughs) Stu Melton. Uh, Thank you, Gary Domestic Abusey. Brennan Busey has a horrible case of pube face. Uh... (laughs) I'm not talking about his beard. Uh, I'm talking about a uh, pretty ugly boy. Ew. Brennan recently just Brennan recently discovered that he had a heart problem when he collapsed on a run and uh, woke up in the hospital. Uh, Brennan also had to transfer uh, to three different colleges to finish his degree making heart only his uh, second worst failure. There's a long setup there. (laughs) (laughs) Fight Club is the winner of round one, Brendan Busey. Or is the winner of round one, Stu Melton. Went around one, Stu Melton. 30 seconds on the clock. Lindsay Tyson's still here. <laughs> Round two starts now. Uh, Brandon's heart doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> His heartbeat is like what I do when I think of his girlfriend because it's beating off. Okay, wait. Uh, uh, Brennan's heart sucks. Uh, uh, a normal heart beats like this. Ba-bum. 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 And that's how I fuck his girlfriend. Uh, uh, the first time Brennan met his girlfriend, his heart skipped a beat. Uh, this joke has nothing to do with Brennan's heart problem. I just think it's going to be funny when she breaks up with him. <laughs> that impression of her heart was the first act that I've ever seen Stu Melton do in my entire life. <laughs> <coughs> Brendan Busey. <laughs> Stu, you seem like a Disney Channel bully that secretly wants to dance. <laughs> uh, That's good. In- <laughs> Thanks, one person. Uh, In college, Stu mathematically modeled puns. The hard part about mathematically modeling puns is never seeing a vagina. Okay. (laughs) Stu is from Downers Grove, which if you don't know, is this lovely field out in Illinois where they grow retards. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's gonna be. I still don't get the mathematically 
vagina one. <laughs> <laughs> Someone from Staten Island doesn't get a joke about education. I'm shocked. <laughs> Fight Club is the winner of round two. Stu Melton. No. Yeah. <laughs> or is the winner of round two, Brendan Busey. <laughs> winner of round two, winner of this fight, Stu Melton. <laughs> And up next, we have a tournament fight! Yeah. Comedy Fight Club 18 semi-final fight, scheduled for 245 second rounds. Introducing first, he looks like if a swastika tattoo were a person, Mike Kramer! And his opponent looks like he had a gay experience in college. He still masturbates to Casey Regan! Very nice guy. 45 seconds on the clock. This fight starts now. Oh, Mike, you look like Pete Townsend if he were more of a pedophile. Besides being a comedian, Mike is a clown at kids' parties, uh, which is a tough job. Hardest part is probably explaining to your neighbors the smells coming from your crawl space. <laughs> In his 20s, Mike told me he went to over 500 street hookers. His words, as opposed to sea hookers. <laughs> No tunnel sluts for Mike. <laughs> Only concrete whores. Uh, Mike is single. Uh, it's hard dating when you're in your um, state sex offenders registry. <laughs> but don't, too, don't worry. He's not too old to make the bald man cry. Which, you know, is slang for thinking about his life. <laughs> Mike Kramer. I got a Facebook message from Casey last night, Saturday night. It said, can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for tomorrow, Micah, hey? Hey, Micah, I can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, okay. Then I got a message last night. How old are you, Mike? <laughs> How old are you? Hey, Mike. How old are you, Mike? Dude, those are the kind of messages you send a fucking woman, okay? The night before a date, all right? This is called Comedy Fight Club, not Comedy Fuck Each Other in the Ass Club. Right? You fucking asshole. Fuck you, fuck you, Mike. Fuck you, Mike. I'm gonna fuck you in the ass, Mike. Fuck you in the ass. Hey, why don't you just send me a dick pic of your vagina, huh? huh? Fight Club is the winner of round one, Casey Regan. No. Or is the winner of round one, Mike Kramer? Yeah. Winner of round one, Mike Kramer! Yeah. 30 seconds, 45 seconds on the clock. Round two starts now. Casey, uh, Casey postponed our fight a week ago. I know why I did that. Because I'm an old fucking man. And you fucking thought I was gonna die on Wednesday! You piece of shit! You fucking ass! Oh, crazy dead! Oh, good! I fucking win that forfeit! Fuck you! I'm here to 
go bald head to head with you, okay? I'm here to go arthritic toe to toe with you, okay? You piece of shit! You fucking 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 piece of shit! Casey Regan! All right. I get it. Mike Kramer is the G.G. Allen of Comedy Fight Club. He somehow made eating shit on stage compelling. You fucking shaved bird. You're like... Can you believe this motherfucker asked to exchange life information for this roast? Like in school, Mike was asked to do a book report, read the book, and then just scissor kick the teacher in the chest. <laughs> like, <laughs> Mike's going the Rodney Dangerfield route of, uh, <laughs> of not starting comedy until later in his life. He's taking the extra step, though, of not writing any jokes either. <laughs> Yeah, I call Mike Old Yeller. Yeah, in the hopes that later he gets mercy shot behind a barn. Kramer, proof that tragedy plus time does not always equal comedy. <laughs> Mike Kramer. Uh, Casey is uh, polymonogamous. Uh, <laughs> he told me that. He fucking told me that, okay? Just like I told him I go to street hookers, okay? <laughs> I told him that over the snapbook. <laughs> Casey's, uh, Casey's childhood house, Casey's childhood house burned down? Yeah, of course. They make Barbie's dream houses out of fucking wood, you piece of shit! <laughs> Where's your Barbie dog gonna sleep now? You and Ken are gonna have to, have to make room in your bed for Barbie! <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just saw an entire relationship play out. <laughs> it was kiss, suck his dick, fuck you, I'm leaving. <laughs> fight Club is the winner of this fight, Casey Regan. Or is the winner of this fight, Mike Kramer. Winner, Casey Regan. Yeah. <laughs> 
He will be advanced to the finals. Face Mark Benjamin. Winner will be next in line for a shot at the most prestigious prize in all of entertainment, the Comedy Fight Club Championship. And now it's time for our segment, The Orphan Speaks. Give it up for The Orphan of Comedy Fight Club, Mia Faith Hammond. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I will start with uh, Michael Verdi versus Farouk Hussein. Farouk, a lot of inside baseball jokes. And by inside baseball, I mean you only hit fouls. How did you win? How did you win? Uh, Margo Margo versus Oscar. Two LGBT people calling each other fags. Man, just fuck already, okay? <laughs> And then take me home with you. Uh, John Fox versus Dory Gabrielle. Gabriel? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> we only have first names in the orphanage. <laughs> John, John Fox. Now, John is someone we like to call back at the orphanage uh, not adoptable. Because <laughs> of his face. Uh, okay. Uh, Sabrina Piper versus Dino Dima, uh, DiMartino. Sabrina's got a uh, tits galore. Oh, baby. Oh, me, oh, my. Please, uh, may I have some more milk? Right <laughs> oh. Fuck, oh, man. Uh, we call her very adoptable. <laughs> okay, that's what we call her. Oh, man, that is... Uh, please teach me how to do makeup. <laughs> and uh, Dino, please teach me how to find food. <laughs> or let me eat you. <laughs> okay. uh, Jeff, uh, Jeffrey versus David Piccolomini. Oh, man. David Piccolomini bombed so hard with his real jokes that AIDS actually saved him. <laughs> wow, that was the first. Uh, Brandon versus Stu Mellon. Uh, Brandon, Brandon, are you still, are you yeah. still here? Yeah? Uh, I wanted to ask, are you my mom? <laughs> because you fucking died up here. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> fucking. Uh, oh, my mom's dead. I miss her. <laughs> Uh, but Stu is uh, pretty cute. He's a cute guy. Uh, he sort of looks like the uh, Ken doll I made out of birdseed and spits. <laughs> uh, call me. <laughs> okay. Mike Kramer versus Casey Regan. Casey, I really didn't appreciate you making fun of uh, tapeworm daddy warbucks over here, okay? <laughs> he sucks, but he's all I got, <laughs> okay? Writing on him. I'm excited for the main event. Bobby Sheehan versus Mikey Mays. Bobby looks like an orphan that's uh, been adopted four times already. But uh, they kept bringing him back because he wouldn't stop not growing. <laughs> and uh, Mikey, Mikey, this is true. Mikey is actually adopted, uh, but his biological parents are still alive and out there somewhere. <laughs> wow, <laughs> okay, wow, so cool. Mikey can probably... <laughs> Mikey can probably find his parents on Facebook. Okay, you know what? My parents died before MySpace. And, uh, well, that was the last thing I was supposed to do. I'm the orphan. Thank you. The orphan of Comedy Fight Club, Mia Faith Hammond. And now it is time for our main event of the evening. Schedule for 245, second rounds. Introducing first, he looks like if Stephen Curry played for the Social Justice Warriors, Mikey Mays! <laughs> and his opponent looks like he gives a pep talk to his dick before dates, Bobby Sheehan! <laughs> Forty-five seconds on the clock. This main event starts now. I just want to say uh, before I start, like ever since Fight Club went corporate, it got real gay in here. Uh, <laughs> I never thought I'd see a senior citizen make out with. This is this is weird. All right. 
Um, Bobby, I, uh, I just want to thank you for all your hard work you've done uh, making Lucky Charms magically delicious. This is, uh, <laughs> this is great. Like, wouldn't it be crazy if leprechauns like, really did exist, but like, you get to the end of the rainbow and there's like no gold, it's just him being like, hey, you want to come to a comedy show? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Too bad they don't exist. Mm. Kind of <laughs> like my real parents. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy because like you can look up here and tell that at one point in time both of us wanted to be rappers, <laughs> which is hilarious because you kind of look like Mama Spaghetti. Uh, uh, Bobby used to be an alcoholic because uh, his dad was an alcoholic and his dad was an alcoholic because Bobby sucks. Like, like imagine if this was like imagine if this was like the best kid that you could make. That's like. <laughs> That's like working really hard on like a science project and then showing up to school the next day and realizing you're retarded. Like, <laughs> God, how trashy was the show that this is now corporate comedy fight club? <laughs> Bobby Sheehan. All right, guys, to be honest, um, I don't want to roast Mikey. Uh, I just want to talk about the night we met. Um, it all started when my wife and I wanted to spice things up in the bedroom. <laughs> So I went to Mikey, I said, Mikey, have you ever cucked a man before? And, and he said, no, I don't think I can. I said, well, try, do you think you could perform? And he said, sure, how many people do I need to bring? <laughs> so, because my wife, she wanted to fuck a big, strong, handsome black man. And uh, I brought Mikey home and she said, once again, you never listen. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong? She's like, look at him, look at how he's dressed. It's like his first day of being black and he doesn't know how to do it yet. And I explained to her, I said, look, I know he looks retarded. I know, I know he looks like in school they made him sit at the back of the short bus, but he'd be nice to him, he's an orphan. And she said, I assumed that. I assumed all Showtime kids were. Um, he's a very funny comedian. He performs regularly at the Comedy Sickle Cellar. Fight Club is the winner of round one, Mikey Mays. Or is the winner of round one, Bobby Sheehan. Winner of round one, Bobby Sheehan. 45 seconds on the clock. Round two starts now. Uh, my wife had some questions. <laughs> She's like, do we even know he's clean? How do we know he doesn't have AIDS? AIDS, 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 AIDS. And I said, honey, don't say AIDS. That's pandering. Come on. <laughs> Her issue is she said he was ugly, um, that he, quote, has a face not even his mother could love. <laughs> mm. But we went at it eventually. I fucked him, he fucked me, my wife fucked both of us. If you think he has dick sucking lips, you should see his asshole. <laughs> he does this weird thing though, like if he feels like it's not going well, he would stop and ask us, yo, where are y'all from? <laughs> I should do like an actual joke for the end at least, right? Yeah. Okay, hi hey, guys, I guess you could say uh, Mikey's like an Oreo. Because he's black on the outside, and I prefer to dunk him in milk before I put him in my mouth. <laughs> I do like the idea of crowd working during an orgy. <laughs> you two fucking? Okay. <laughs> Mikey Mays. Uh, thank you for taking a break from your racism to throw in some punchlines. Uh, uh, <laughs> His name is Bobby Sheehan, but you might know him by the street name, uh, Bobby, she has a boyfriend, or <laughs> Bobby, she's never gonna let you hit it, or Bobby, she said no, or Bobby, she has me, seriously, you should stop. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bobby is just one of those dudes where it's just so easy to not like him. And <laughs> I think it's because his face is stupid. Like, <laughs> Like, look at him, nobody smiles that much. Like, people smile when they enjoy things. He doesn't enjoy being him. Like, look at him. Look at him, he's the, he's the type of 
type of dude that would flirt with your mom just to steal your PlayStation. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, like in the movies where there's like every group of kids, right? And then there's a the one man who's like, hey guys, I got an idea. And then somehow the kid with asthma dies. That's, <laughs> oh, that's Bobby. I, I don't know, he might make it in comedy. He might murder a hooker in Thailand. We, we don't know, guys. I, <laughs> Fight Club is the winner of round two. Bobby Sheehan. <laughs> he was going for a handshake there. White people are really bad at these. <laughs> or is the winner of round two, Mikey Mays. We are gonna pick a winner in sudden death overtime. One joke apiece, overtime starts. Now, if God came down from heaven and was like, Mikey, I would end suffering of all black people. I would stop police brutality. I would make, give them jobs and everything. All you would have to do was switch places with Bobby. <laughs> I would look at him and be like, God, thank you, but sometimes people just gotta die, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Sheehan. Uh, so Mikey used to be a rapper, um, and I did some research. His rap name was Child Soldier Boy. <laughs> fight Club is the winner of this fight. Mikey Mays. <laughs> or is the winner of this fight Bobby Sheehan? Oh, winner of this fight, Mikey Mays! Now it's time for the bishop's address. Give it up for our bishop, Andrew Casertano! I suffer from depression. <laughs> How you guys doing? Let's connect. Uh, Bobby vs. Mikey, oh my god, two of my favorite boys stepping up to the table. One is a boy I love to watch dance. Ooh, dance for me, Bobby. Ooh. Look at his little red body move. I think this is illegal, Bobby. You better call the authorities because I can't stop watching you dance. And the other boy will break dance in any location and take your girl. Uh, Michael vs. Farouk. Hey guys, I'm Vinny Verdi. I'm Michael's cousin. I started Lone Bird. I am the Lone Bird. I never got married or a cute dancing girlfriend like Michael did, so I own Lone Bird. Farouk better keep his mouth shut. You said some pretty mean things about my cousin. You obviously never want to get booked on a Lone Bird show. <laughs> or a Lone Bird mic. You're not booked. All right. Uh, Oscar vs. Margo. Oscar had a little gay meltdown and it made me feel really good. Ooh, melt my body. Ooh, hold me, hurt me, be my man. <laughs> Oscar hit on my boy uh, Chris tonight and I gotta be honest, I didn't feel weird about it. Uh, Chris is my boy. We used to drink on stoops in Park Slope in 2004. Uh, John vs. Dory. I loved watching John Rose Dory. He had some pretty good jokes, but his delivery is so awkward, man. Uh, then Dory grabs the mic and is like, This motherfucker right here. I loved it. Uh, Dino vs. Sabrina. Dude, I wanted to watch these two fuck. <laughs> I'm Dino, I'm gonna take my sausage and stick it in those big titty honkas. Ooh, you just got booked on the Dino show. Uh, Jeffrey vs. David, never mind this fight. As a room, we recorded the greatest age chant in the history of Fight Club. Um, yeah, and uh, tonight I wanna say be easy on yourselves, not fun. That's it for me, thank you. The Bishop, Andrew Casertano. The birthday boy, Andrew Casertano. Oh, no. Happy birthday.
BK, but first, let's have the officials vote on a fight of the night. Bishop, what's your pick? Favorite fight of the night? Kramer versus Casey. Kramer versus Casey. Yeah. Kramer versus Casey. Yeah, yeah. She now has Mike Kramer, Casey Regan. Come on up here. Yeah. Official Fight Club Chocolate Candies. Congratulations! If any of you are around Saturday night, 301 Garden Street at the Capitol Wrestling Auditorium, <laughs> Capitol Wrestling in Hoboken is gonna have a special comedy fight club during intermission of a pro wrestling show. <laughs> Bobby Sheehan will be facing Jack Finnegan. Anthony Passaretti will be facing Pauline Murphy. We'll be posting about it on social media. And then on Sunday, we'll be back here, same time, same place. Let's eat some cake, have a good night.